Hi, everybody. I'm Rebecca, and I am currently an EVSS uh, student, and I work for the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. So I was given the opportunity to study more about near infrared spectroscopy and how that benefits within the fishery science community. So what my research uh, title states is basically that I'm going to use near infrared to determine the age of black sea bass and white grunt with their otoliths and scales. So I've seen firsthand that otoliths have to be dissected out of the fish. So that's essentially sacrificing the fish. And um, what otoliths are is that they're hard structures that give fish balance and hearing. And they also provide us um, how, old, how old the fish is, essentially. And so what happens is with the aging, we have to traditionally count the number of rings that are formed. So kind of like counting a tree trunk, the rings of a tree trunk. So this age data is very crucial for fisheries scientists to evaluate uh, the health of a fish population. So it's very critical to have this information. But what's cool about near infrared spectroscopy is that its usage in different fields of work, such as pharmaceutical and food industries, it basically can analyze um, samples and output the chemical composition or the chemical makeup of that sample. And now it's been concluded that NIR can help um, fishery scientists with uh, predicting that age by scanning an otolith, which is pretty cool. So now for me, my question is, can scales be a reliable uh, structure to use with near infrared? Um, because like I said before, the otoliths have to be dissected, whereas scales can be easily plucked. And as you see on the left for sample collection, so with the pro with near infrared, it, it, um, scanning your scale or your otolith is less than 30 seconds. So that's a picture of a scale being scanned. Um, and the software can hold a high volume of these scans. So what you get is the output of a calibration curve. So that's basically an age range created through near software. So it's basically acting as a best line of fit for future comparisons with otoliths and scales. So what I hope to get from my research is that utilizing scales will provide this aging process to be more conservative and uh, less time to age and be more cost-effective. So less sacrificing and more saving of the fish. Thank you.